Hello there and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 5 today, we're continuing on Let's Play, this is episode 71, in today's episode we are delving into the Endurance series, the final series we have to do in this game, but it is the longest one. We begin with the Grand Valley, 300 kilometers. for that we need a car, and for that we head to Nissan for the 2007 Nissan GTR Black Mask. Why the black? Hang on. No, <laughs> hang on. Why the? I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Does that have any stats? Black mask. But it comes in six different colours. I think the red's the best colour to show it off. Oh, I well. disagree. Silver. It's Bloody hell, Emil. So, one point three four Fiesta is the title. Yes. yes. How is this a 1.3 Ford Fiesta? Because the 1.3 Ford Fiesta had an engine called the Enduratech. Get it? Endurance? Enduro? Uh -huh. Oh. Anyways, um, what tyres do I want? Um, well, as far as I'm aware, you're unrestricted. One. So, if you want, so, if thinking about it as a recommendation, I would probably say... Racing mediums, just that way you get now. the balance of uh, longevity and grip. Right, and you is that the same for every endurance? Uh, pretty much. Right, okay. Do well, well, and I say that the likes of Suzuka, which is one of the uh, later endurances, may require um, the likes of uh, wet weather tires. Yeah. Because, because the Vuka does the obviously change weather, change weather and the likelihood of weather changing during the 100... 1,000 1, kilometers of Suzuka will obviously... Um, 621 miles. It's high. Grand Valley, 300 kilometers, an endurance event over 60 laps of the technically demanding Grand Valley Speedway. Concentration is more important than sheer speed here. A grueling 60 lap event that demands a total concentration. You can enter in whatever you want, and your tickled opponents are a bunch of cars that we're probably going to absolutely destroy. Let's go. You're in a GTR. And the lead car is Slap Train. And Boris Johnson in the Honda NSX. He's not Boris. <laughs> He's called Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Johnson in the blue <laughs> Honda NSX. Oh, my lad. Fucking uh, hell. <laughs> Yeah, we might have, um, yeah, the tyres will be on this anyway. Might have overdone this, but, you know, right, it's better to be safe than shall we? Where else are we going to use the black mask? He's got mask. a point. Exactly. It's even in Grand Turismo 6. Um, I... Think so. I wouldn't see why not, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they forgot it existed. The HCI isn't in Gran Turismo 4, but it fucking isn't. Black Mask. But yeah, um, the the um, opponent she needs to look out for, or look out for in this event, are obviously the NSXs. Um, yes. That being that being said, if there was a Supra to show up here, or a Skyline GTR, not this one, um, yeah, there would be a little bit more competition there, because the, the, the Supra is pretty fucking quick in this. Oh, oh it? boy! It's a Supra! <laughs> it is a Supra. Boris Johnson's pretty hard to overtake by the sounds of it. <laughs> we got by him eventually. I'm not seeing anything. But yeah, GTR Black Mask, our second weird prototype car that we've had in this game. Yeah! Mm. I'll never be able to tell what it looks like now. Well, to be fair, I think this was at the point where like they knew what the general like GTR looked like, they just didn't know what the front end was. It looked like back in 2000 and pissing what? Well, the 2001 one was slightly different. Not really. I read about it, there is a reason why that didn't happen, I just can't remember what it was. Something about Nissan being like, oh well, 
we want to focus on infinity. No, no one wanted to focus on infinity. It was just an unfortunate happening mm. because of Aqua. This car exists. I mean, technically, it doesn't. No. You can't see it. It's John Cena. It's Batman. It, it is bat. It is the bat. Bat GTR. The Batness. This Bat GTR. Even been laughing when he bored. Yep. Oh, Sixty to go. Well, sorry, fifty-nine to go. Uh huh. Which mm -hmm. is almost like sixty-nine, but it's, but it's not. five. It's all right. You better not get bored now, because you haven't seen what's next. I'm not doing more than one event. Four hours of Madster MX-5. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm around Sakuba. Yeah, and I haven't I'm decided. Gonna kill myself. And I haven't harder. decided whether to uh, be boring on the car choice or destroy the event. I haven't actually decided which one. So. So it's basically, you know, destroy the opposition or just uh, trundle around in basically something that matches the AI. Well, you got a and choice of an MX-5 with a wooden steering wheel or an MX-5 that comes with a big wing and a roll cage as standard. <laughs> and neither Either of them way, are the MX event fives. takes the same amount of time. Yeah, exactly. It's just uh, one does significantly more laps. Well, significantly, my dear. Well, well, a gen, well, a small amount more, should I say? I was going to say well, it's not around swing laps, one thing. Depends yeah. Depends on how you drive. Well, as always. Mm. I'm always a good driver. But yeah, it's basically a case of: Do you want to do a? lap time of 1 minute 20 seconds, or do you want to do a lap time of 1 minute 15 seconds? It's a bit more speedy than that. Well, it's just... It's uh, got you know, downfalls. It's, yeah, but it's a generalised um, example. I mean, don't know exactly how fast um, a tuned MX-5 would go against a uh, compared to a Mazda Roadster touring car. Yes. Have you used the Legacy GCB? Uh, I think we used the Legacy GCB in GT4, no? no? Yeah, I believe so. I think so. I'm trying to not it have too much crossover. It might have been the Subaru uh, one making a stars. I know we had the, ladies. what was it? Without Legacy, we have no Liberty or something like that. Mm. Fucking awful title. Great title. Do you remember that one time where we spent an hour conversating in nothing but Subaru bonds? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. That, that was peak autism. Yeah. Uh, imagine focusing on Infinity. Infinity is just the Japanese Mercedes. No, it isn't. They really aren't. That's a Alan Partridge quote, anyway. I drive a Lexus, Japanese Mercedes. Yeah. Nah, great title. I agree, don't you? I think the more autism a title has, the better it is. Fair point. Nothing can top naturally slide the X, obviously, but you know. That was great. No, it wasn't. That's the worst title I've ever come up with. Other than Azar I was. Nah, that was great. So, are right, you getting a, another episode named after you soon? Why? Because I couldn't think of anything else to call the Yaris thing. Oh god. Inferno's had a title named after him. Yeah! Yeah, Gran Turismo 4. Hmm. Yeah. And unlike your two episodes, that one actually got views. <laughs> no, no one watched episode 2 of fucking... Of what? No one watched episode 2 of the second Grand fucking Le Mans race. I think they did. I think that's still got like 400, 500 views and I've got no idea why. Oh, I've uh, found out where we uh, 
use the legacy. Mm. Um, it was the normal cathedral, normal year seventy rally two. Oh. So basically, short cathedral rocks. So you use the uh, legacy touring wagon, two point oh GT spec B. Why do you care about this? Because it's interesting. No. Oh. Kind of is. Yeah. It is because <laughs> I know, like having this stuff categorised. I can stay whilst we do this. Yes, and also. I don't know if you noticed this, but this game has like a thousand cars in it. GT4 had like 700 and GT6 has 1,200. So the more I can do to avoid car crossover, the better, because there's like a That's million funny. other choices I have. Well, you're using the black mask. Exactly. I could just use the Academy Edition GTR, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> black mask. The mask is black. But my feelings are the same. The Liberty continues its legacy. That is a good title, but I think we've got other legacies eventually. Right? No way, we don't. Did they, did they add another legacy to this? I don't even remember. I don't think they did. I'm not sure. The last game we played with a lot of legacies in it was uh, Forza 4. One legacy. By the way. Mm -hmm. like, like, it's weird to say, Forza 4, like, we finished that, like, over six months ago, and I don't think I've got the taste out of my mouth yet. I think that died in April. Which is insane. Uh. Yeah, we've used uh, the 2000... 2003's 2000 as far back as they go. Yeah, we used those. Like I say, we might get away with like a 2 litre turbo version, but I think all the 3 litre R's have been used. Yeah. I'd have to actually go back through and figure out what we used in each GT. Was GT4 before or after we had spreadsheets? I don't remember. I don't think we had a spreadsheet for GT4. I think we did have a spreadsheet for GT4. I don't think we did. No, I, I'm sure we did. I think GT5 was our first spreadsheet. GT5 was not our first spreadsheet. Forza 3 was our first spreadsheet LP. Exactly. Why is the stream title 1.3 Ford Fiesta? Because the 1.3 Ford Fiesta had the Endura E engine. Endurance racing. Get it? Good. Yeah. I think anyone owns 1.3 Ford Fiesta. I like how I can call these streams like Damon Hill and Jack Villeneuve and my penis feels funny. And no one ever asks questions. Well, the moment you call it fucking 1.3 Ford Fiesta, everyone becomes curious. I'm just gonna call the next one fucking Mr. Krabs and Nipples, and we'll see if I can ask a question. <laughs> Actually, I, I couldn't do that, because then people will think I like Spongebob. Yeah, people that have 1.3 Ford Fiestas are wrong, and mine was a 1.25. The Yamaha engine one. Yeah! Allegedly. Fucking imagine going to Yamaha, buying a keyboard, and thinking, I need an engine for my Ford. F I need an engine for my Ford car. And like, mate, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, the Ford car, like, the, the Ford really car never had that. the 1.25. What? Yeah, the Ford car was only 1.3 Enduro E. Yeah. And then they, instead of using the 1.25 engine, they decided to just build a brand new 1.3 liter engine for the KA after 2002. Traditions. Why don't you call it Narain Carfcane? I'm fairly certain we've had an episode called Narain Carfcane already on a yeah, stream. Sure. I've come to expect your quality title since Azar Hours. Yeah. Not it, that it, it was the Azar Hours in person. I, I remember I saw that fucking notification pop on my phone. I'm like, oh fuck. I had nothing better to call it. I genuinely it. It having a bit of a panic attack moment. Like, Oh what? my god, my favourite YouTuber! I've never called. I've never considered you in my top ten thousand favourite YouTubers. It's alright, mate. I'm gonna call the French Championship after you as well. 
fucking fuck off and die. I'm gonna call it Elka's extract. Fuck off and die. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't because we didn't use a Cleo, did we? No, we didn't. Did we use a Gan? No, we used a Lutezia. Oh yeah. Which is a different car. Have it, fucking Elka's extravagance, but in Japanese. Ew. I haven't. Well, it works. I haven't also. I haven't Google translated a title since the 2ZV episode of GT4. Yeah, what was that? Uh, Unsoyet und Baguette. Or something oh. like that. That was pissing awful. Yeah, it was. A baguette is quicker than this car in French. Oh. Which is accurate. The 2CV was really fucking slow, and I think I put like, nitrous on it, I don't remember. Yeah, you did. It's the only way to win that thing, because, like, it. None of the performance mods do a damn thing to the 2CV. Vitaly Petrov. French Championship used the Aventine yet. Uh, we have not used the Aventine yet. That is a good car to pencil in for GT6. When I will have. The problem is you can't theorise on what cars you're going to use for GC6 until you beat this game. Because, obviously, this game I'm is... Uh... use an Aventine for the rest of this LP. Let's be fucking frank. Um, I could probably use an Aventine. I think there's like no, one... Of... No, there's the one or two more. The tuning car championship will not work. We've done the tuning car championship. The tu tuning this is endurances. Either way, that won't work in We're the pissing done. Aventine. Yeah. Top Gear can make it work, you can't make it work. Yeah, we had um Nice. Um I'm trying to remember. What have we got? We've got Grand Valley 300 kilometers, which is this. Roadster 4 hours endurance, which is Roadsters. Yep. Laguna Seca 200 miles, which is well, some American probably. It's mostly American cars. Yeah, it, the car that we use might be blue with some stripes on it. Oh boy. Um, Indy 500, which is prototype cars. Yes. Um, that Nürburgring. Is the falling event I've ever done in any video. No, 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 no. It's um, 1000 kilometers of Suzuka next. JGTC cars. Yeah, you get absolutely you get absolutely zero prizes for guessing what car's coming on that event. <laughs> Yellow Hat YMS Supra. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just yeah. like the name Yellow Hat. Sue me. Uh, yes. Four hours of um, Sakuba. I mean, not no Nurburgring. Not Sakuba. Fucking. No Nurburgring. Yes. Yeah. Both tracks That's are still uh, too long. Cars, uh, oh. Not touring cars. Not touring cars. Yes, which, I mean, probably a Gran Turismo touring car, let's be honest. Yeah. Because I can't resist those. Then it's nine hours of Sakuba. Oh boy, more Sakuba. This time for nine hours, and you can use whatever you want. They're basically the same cars, though, aren't they? Uh, uh, yeah, I believe, well, I believe it's a mix of, um, you know, this it never was in the Tuning Car Championship. What? The scariest thing will be the HRS CT330R. It's alright, I'm gonna use something equally as embarrassing for that. But the mm. scary thing is the opposite. And then after that, and then after Sakuba, again, we got both the 24 hour races. That's not again with both the 24 hour races. We have three 24 hour races in GT4. Right. Yeah, but I didn't have to drive in those. You well, he, well, you did, but not, well, not for majority of it. I don't know, so. I think I, it was like half and half. Yeah. But, um, yeah, for this one, you do have to drive. Uh, for well, all fortunately, mid-session saving is a thing. There is mid-session saving, yes, which is a saving grace. So, uh, as I said, he wanted to do a 20... Pay? As I said, he wanted to do a 24-hour live stream of those anyway, so it's all good. I never said that. Yeah, you did. Oh, never. Pizza, yeah, but... booze. Yeah, but the great thing is, um, you know, you can at least 
save during the race, uh, just in case anything happens. Yes. And if the thing is unethical, remember, Jesus saves. And, I mean, 24 hour Le Mans is obviously some form of Le Mans winning car. Mm -hmm. I wonder where we can get one of those. Get a Le Mans losing car, that's funnier. Um, I wonder. Have we got any Le Mans losing cars? We haven't used the TSO20 yet, have we? Yeah, no, that was in GT4, remember. Wait, a Corolla Rally car? That's not going to work against Le Mans cars, you fucking player. She didn't win Le Mans, did it? N no. It never but... raced in Le Mans. Exactly, it never won. <laughs> yeah, but it never raced. I actually do not know if this game has car. any Le Mans losing car, I'll be honest. Uh, V12 L V12 LMR literally won the 1999 Le Mans. Uh, what, about the, what about the weird other... LM. The what? What about the weird other HDI fat? Because there's two of those in this game. So I'm yeah, but I mean, that's a livery change. Yeah, but it's still not the winning car. Well, I mean, that's probably the one we're going to use then, but still. Good. Because it's got fat in the name, and it's funny. Yes. But also, I mean, technically a 908... We are, we are 14 years old, aren't yes. we? Yes. A nine, <laughs> a nine oh eight chassis did win Le Mans at one point though. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise no chaparral too, Jake. No, I don't have fifteen gazillion quid. Citroen C five. You've already had your fun with Ruger Lucifer. Well, I'm here. When did when did Peugeot three oh seven? I actually want to use the 307 ABN, at some point. premium. I want to use A307 at some point. Not sure which one, but one of them. I've got a lot to say about the Peugeot 307. Do you? Yeah. Why? Also, it's lap 10 and I've just lapped Boris Johnson. Oh no. Hey. The comedy liked itself. Shut the fuck up. That's actually the reason this car's silver. Because if it was red, I would have thrown myself off that bridge by now. At least silver, yeah, I, can, sil silver I can claim to be an independent. 60 times round, 60 times to contemplate the fact you should have done it. Yes. Um, I am actually trying to think of any LMP car in this game that didn't... I mean, the Minolta, technically, but... The what? Haven't you? You've already used a Minolta, haven't you? In the previous LP. I think so. Yeah. I can check. Well, it is have. a fucking this and well, it, well, since the only game it was in previously was uh, GT4. <laughs> yeah, let's not give it fuel. Who needs fuel? I did forget it fuel is actually it. something I need to like watch out for. Uh huh. They don't really drop the car very well, do they? No, they don't. So sort of remind me to turn fuel on for the next stop. Otherwise, nah, we we'll might be that. in trouble. I might have stopped too early on the tyres, to be fair, but whatever. Nah. nah. I don't think it really makes a difference. I don't know how long the tyres can go, I don't know how much. Okay, you, yeah, you don't have to use them in Alta. I was gonna say, I don't know if it's um, like every racing game where if a tyre's like 40% done, then it's undrivable. You could have got away with it, but eh, there's no harm in doing a five pit stop race. Yeah. As it's not like you're going to fucking loop. It's like F1 2020 when it's, or 2021 when it's like, the tyre's 20% life, time to change it. I say that, hard tyres are getting pretty based in Season 5, so it's all good. Like, they actually like, act like the hard tyres do in real what, life. What, Emil? 
That, mm. That's a question. Why on Christmas Day were you still doing your fucking F1 night? Like, because I was getting all the stuff done sad. from the 23rd. I did Bahrain yesterday because I got bored. My god, you're... And then I did China that's at like 3am. I can't even lie, that's just... Literally everyone was the same. I mean, the touring car server was literally playing like SWAT 3 together, so... Not even SWAT 4, fuck off. Yeah, Red, Red Bull is hashtag blessed. Red, well, Lewis Hamilton wasn't because his car exploded, but... <laughs> Him inside it? <laughs> no, well, yeah, yeah but... Oh. Exactly, I have a dog. A little yapper. I did enough on Christmas Day for a little I got, I, I got incredibly wasted and forgot where I parked my car. Nice. I haven't got wasted nice. yet, but someone did buy me a nice bottle of vodka. Well, what they proclaim is a nice bottle of vodka. I might disagree because it is French, but we'll see. It's not Belgian, don't worry. Or Polish, because that stuff was fucking revolting. Hello, Roman. But yeah, no, the F1 stuff's fun. I like it. Uh, it definitely needs a regulation change because I'm getting very fucking bored, but yeah. Mm. Zhao is having an interesting time. Zhao's, you know, I, I'm confident he'll get there one day. He's an interesting person. I, I, to be fair, the way it always works in my team is like someone's useless for like the first like four or five races, and then they like eventually get up the rack together and start going for it. Although to be fair, Lulu was backwards with that. Lulu did really good in like the first few races and then dropped off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, Shell will be great. I mean, by the time he becomes great, I'm gonna drop him and replace him for someone else. I've got my eye on my next teammate, so... I've definitely got my eye on my next teammate. I think me and him are gonna be a... I feel to know that you're part of a farm team, which just make... You just bring up people for better teams. Literally. <laughs> you're we a are, farm. We are everyone's junior team. And then occasionally we steal good people so they fuck off to me. listen right I'm just pointing out right unlike every other team where it's like their career actively gets worse when they leave right yeah I fucking yeah. took on wait no never mind he got dropped out of the sport but my next Russian teammate oh, Artem Markov he ended up in an Aston Martin and he's sometimes getting well sometimes he finishes races um, I bought on board uh, Antonio Giovinazzi, who's loving life at Williams. Okay, bad example. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen, he's at Mercedes. Just as Mercedes is now like the seventh best car, but he's at Mercedes. <laughs> seventh best car is now like ten. Oh, no. Think of the. I don't know. Get Latifi. Um. Stay tuned. Basically, think of Mercedes as they were before Toto and Lewis took over. Yes. Um, and then I took Lewis from Mercedes and now he's in a Red Bull and getting scolded by Max Verstappen. But still, look, uh, real life. think of the healthcare benefits these people get at the big teams now. <laughs> but yeah, get Latifi. That might be like my final... I think my plan is, I'll be honest, I think I'm going to get to like season 6 and then I think it, I don't plan to actually play through all 10 seasons so I might just start simming shit and we'll see where we land. But if you want Latifi I'll put him on the Christmas list. I'll get Latifi a seat at Ferrari. Can I just point out for the record as well, Kimi Raikkonen hasn't retired. And so that would make him currently 46. So. Nice! Yeah. And he's beating Bottas in the. Wait, no, never mind. He's not doing that anymore. He was beating Bottas in the standings. 
What about the Mahasta plan? Oh yeah, I need to get back to that. The Mahasta plan. <laughs> the Mahasta plan, yeah. Well, the Mahasta plan sort of fell apart anyway. Because I wanted Nikita Mazepin to get a point, not Dan Tickton. Oh. I just love how Hass is like, alright, we, uh, Nikita is bad news, we need a new driver. Who, who do you think? Dan Tickton. Great! <laughs> let's hire so Dick Tick. Replace bad news with even worse. Yeah, yeah, let's get Dick Tick in. I mean, come on. Me, I Mister. I'm know. going to take the piss out of people on on a live stream, and then you know, destroy all credibility of myself. Hey, he's no Take different class. Did you not think he not like he robbed himself of fucking credibility when in an F4 race because someone touched him the other day? He decided to like literally drive over the grass on the safety car and ram them out of the race. It's just street justice. Yes, I know, but street yeah, justice but doesn't really work in real life. Exactly. <laughs> Clearly it does. Not in fucking I mean, Formula 4. Clearly it fucking does. I mean, Otherwise you wouldn't have done it. I mean, people do that in uh, NASCAR. Oh, let's just park them for the race. Yo, let's just turn uh, them with stuff on the race. Do it in F4, that's your career gone. Iconic F4 moment. I mean, to be fair, the only other iconic moments I know about F4 is accidentally catching it during the uh, BTCC broadcasts, and it's yeah, just you like... you make it sound like a fucking disease. Yes. Well, the funny thing with F4 is you'll catch it, and it'll be like, oh, and we've got a red flag. Red flag. And we'll be like, this is how the red flag happened, and it'll be like the most, like, ridiculous move ever, and the guy will just start pirouetting through the fucking sky. Are you doing a Grand Valley 300k now? This is the 300 kilometers of the Grand. This is the Grand Valley 180 miles. This is the Grand Val 300. 186 miles. Technically, it's not actually. We worked it out. How long is it? It's actually somewhat like 187.4 miles. It's not even 300 kilometers. Oh, bastards! If I remember rightly from GC4, I think the calculation was done, and I don't know if it's in these tracks are the same size. This is like, actually like 305 kilometers or something like that. There's like one endurance which proclaims to be like 200 miles, but it's actually like 230 miles or something like that. Like, it's not even close. And then there's another one that's like 15 miles short. Wait till I tell you what you can do in the Rome 2 hour endurance. Blow your fucking mind. Has anyone ever got to lap 99 and see what happened? Yeah. Does you it end? You know. you I just, know you, you can do it. Wait, whoa, you, are we talking about um, two. two hours of uh, Rome? Yeah. yeah. I've done. I've actually made that. Yeah, you, you It just, just ends the race. <laughs> nice. It just probably uh, probably like a few minutes early as opposed to. Yeah, yeah, if you manage to get like to that minute. 99 before the two hour time, it just ends up. Yeah. I think I'd give him, what, one minute, one hour, 56 minutes? Or yeah. something like that. If you're a decent driver, you'll get like 15 minutes to spare. I'm going to say you're not really saving And Inferno is a bit better than a decent driver. <laughs> well, GT2 at least. That's your, that's your <laughs> annual compliment for me. Don't expect anything out. <laughs> now, for fuck's sake. What? what? You're just like, oh my god, I've got a text message and then you unlock your phone and it's like, GET BOOSTED NOW! <laughs> oh, that. Fuck off! No, <laughs> it's so like, you like know it. what that is? That's Stop. the UK government using the fucking emergency line to tell every single person in the United Kingdom to get boosted. I've had well, four text messages from them. Fuck right off! Yeah, I've had like four messages in like the last week. Yeah, but consider getting it done so you won't get. The but it's like day. fucking Boxing Day. Who the fuck's getting vaccinated on Boxing Day? It's like buying a fucking. And also, like buying... I'm not being I mean, funny. It's like buying a fucking arena wall gouge in GTA 5. You do it just so they stop fucking messaging. I just want COVID so I can just die. I'll be honest. I don't need COVID oh. to die. <laughs> 
I, Bernie, I, I, Neil, we got more LPs to do. No, we haven't. <laughs> God, I hope <laughs> I. My. Uh, he said that on like, I want to go to GT5 over I just want to. I, I am not. I am not going to lie. Obviously, this is 2021. <laughs> 2022, I. God, I hope this is my last year. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, so don't I don't want to do it anymore. Emil literally just wants GT5 to be the last LP. No, GT6. Oh, so you are actually... No, oh, yeah, of course I'm doing 6. 6 is a better game. Yeah. And 6 is like 10 minutes long, so it shouldn't really be too much of a hassle. Well, you say that until you get to uh, Ayrton Senna. Um, if he can do Red Bull X 2010, he can do Ayrton Senna. I can't do Red Bull X 2010. He can do one of the tracks. Yeah, I can do well, Monza with like some serious cutting, but... Yeah, well, but here's the thing, right? The Senna um, stuff isn't actually... Just to stop you well, there, the, the Senna only, stuff's hard. But I can do it, like I have done it before. Yeah, I mean, the only part about the Senna stuff, you know, one is when, I'm, when I say the Senna stuff, the only hard part is um, 80s Grand Hatch. Yeah, because it's just like, slightly off. Like, and I'm talking about the one in the Lotus, not the... Uh, I don't know, that weird egg. Silverstone track's a bit stupid. That's oh, just because uh, you don't know what the oh, track yeah, is. The, um, the special variant of the Stoke Turkey in the um, Edge and Senna card. Yeah, that can be a bit difficult, but, you know, um, you know, 80s Brand Sanch India, 80s Monzo, they're actually pretty easy. It's just beating Ayrton Senna's record that can be a Senna's bit easier than the Vettel stuff, though, because it's only one lap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's That's true. the big fuck um, with the Vettel thing, is it's just, it's the most... It starts you in the pit lane, which is fucking stupid, and then you got to do two laps of it, and it just is like, what's the point? Yeah, well, just be grateful they said fuck Tunisia in GT6. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's... I'm not even joking. Yeah. Like, like I'll be honest here. I honestly think when it comes to the Red Bull stuff in GT6, the standard cup is actually harder than the full Red Bull X challenge. Yeah. I remember struggling with it when I played the game like seven years ago. Mm. Two, seven I am years ago, more used to Red Bulls. I'm more used to Red Bulls now. So. Mm. I mean, worst case scenario, controller sensitivity to seven and just do it that way. Mm. I God, I hate this car. You like very, very slightly understeer onto the grass, and it's like you've lost all grip. That's this game. Though. Yeah. Hello, Aja. Um, hey, Aja. You haven't missed a lot. No. Nope. You just missed 17 laps of this. 18. You wonder what this car's like. It's like going through the um, the death chicane. It's. Uh, Tokyo Route 246, where you're just in a race car, where you let off ever so slightly and then just lose all damn balls. Yeah. Like, you know, you, go, you gotta go through it either full, full, full oh, chance or, um, you know, just break and then go through. Because if you slow off the throttle whilst turning, it's like, nope, round to go. Yes. But yeah, I want to do GT6 and I want to do Forza 5 and then I'm um, probably quite it's happy It's both to, of us, uh, AJ. Both me and Daz are in the... Yes. It's just the one that's talking right now. It's me hey, Neil, what about doing a Forza 6? No, I'd rather... <laughs> I'd, I'd rather touch your tip, I'll be honest. Like... <laughs> Shit's fucking extreme. It's just so fuck it. Forza 5 is interesting because it's got Top Gear to carry it through and the random challenges that are thrown in is instead of like being stuck in their own little like hallmark. I maybe. love how you said just the tip. Yes. Forza 6 is so just 
dead. It's just shit, innit? And Forza 7's got the, all the regulation shit, which is... Forza ew. 6 more like, <laughs> Forza... <laughs> yes. Forza yeah, so... Yeah. Technically, I've got to do Horizon 4 at some point. Oh, fuck. That's... I'm leaving that for a while. I, I need the... Uh, don't get me wrong, I liked Forza Horizon 4, but I, I need to, like, have a break from the game for a while. Twice. Yeah, like... Forza Horizon 4 one. answers the question of, can you have too much of a good thing? Yes. Yes. If it never ends. Like, it's a good game, don't make, get me wrong. But after a while, it does start to... Uh, it's like having, Drag it's like on having the heroin for breakfast every day for a year. After day 200, you kind of get sick of it. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the funny thing with Horizon 4 is Horizon 4 being the way it is actually hurted Horizon 5 because it does feel very samey. Yeah. And usually with Forza you can get over that, but because like we played Horizon 4 for so long, and they added so much stuff, it was just like, this game is suffering. Horizon 4 was just two Horizon games. I still have not completed Horizon 5. I haven't even started I mean, I've, I've technically got to like, where it's like, oh, you're in the Hall of Fame, blah, 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 blah. But I haven't beaten all the race events yet. I have got three stars on every PR stunt now, because I got bored a couple of nights ago, and it's very easy to do that. Just build a Jesco. Build a Jesco and the fucking barn find Toyota thing. Yeah, Horizon Five's good though. Yeah, I'm glad. I like it. It's just I don't think I like it enough to do anything with it. Really, this is good. I'm just waiting to see what the first expansion is. I still need to make the car thing. I am gonna do that at some point this week. Alright. Forza Horizon 3 had the Hot Wheels expansion. Ew. Horizon 4 had the Lego expansion. It's gonna be another shit toy, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. That was the second expansions. The first yeah, expansions are the good ones. Yeah, the second expansion is just gonna be a shit toy though. Mega Blocks. Um Crayola. <laughs> Gucci. That's not a shit toy, that's a shit company. No, it is, it is, yeah, I can see it. No, they might end up teaming up with, like, fucking Fast and Furious or some shit again. No, done no. That. Can't do that again. Yeah, you can. I'm, I'm not being funny, as it. You would buy Horizon 5 if that had the Space Fiero, would it? Don't even try and bullshit me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking Space Fiero. I mean, if they... I mean, I really hope they do, like, bring the Space Fiero to Horizon 5, because... <laughs> it going down the highway in that, powered by the Funko engine. Oh god. Yeah, there you go. I want it, no, I want it to have the diesel engine swap. Well, it would that diesel engine to... swap is in a lot of... I think it's in basically everything that's American, so... Yeah, because, you know, yeah, big 450 uh, pickup truck engine. Stop it into God knows any fucking... Car with a big enough front end or rear end. Oh my god. Forza Horizon what? 5 fifth year expansion. Yeah. Because yeah. fifth gear has been oh, reimagined as an electric car show now as well. So you could yeah. add the. Uh, you could add the Hyundai Ioniq. You could add the Mackie. Chinese people thing. People actually want the Mackie. Yeah, the Mackie. I'm surprised the Mackie isn't in that game, considering how, like, buddy buddy they are with Ford. I'm sorry, uh, but I can't take my car seriously because my. Drenner's crazy. I just think of him. He's a proper Scottish lad. Hmm. Do you know when the, they'll probably add the Mackie with uh, Ken Block's Hoonigany Mackie? Blake. That wouldn't surprise me. I want them to add the A up. Yeah, I need you know, new tires. The A up. Um, diesel engine Fiero. I hate DLCs. I mean, 
I'm kind of indifferent about them, <laughs> to be honest. I don't care about electric cars, I just think it's funny that 50 is going electric. I just like the fact that it's called 50 gear, you could call it like E-gear or something now. Mm. You can call it 5th CVT. But electric cars don't have CVTs. They don't have gears either! That is true. <laughs> if we're being wrong, at least let's be a different one. Fucking CVT, oh yeah, brother. CVT best gearbox. Alright, actually. It, they actually. It's pretty based. When it's not trying to fake shift, anyway. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think what else they could make her. Has anything come out related to cars recently? I'll have a look. R slash cars, this will be funny. Um. No. Oh yeah, Toyota's getting backlash for offering fucking like keyless starters and eight quid per month subscription. <coughs> That's a thing. Can you not just get it as an optional extra though? No, you have to pay the subscription. That is the optional. No, do you extra. have to pay the subscription, or yes. can you buy like a no two hundred quid just to knock it out? No, no, you have to no. pay the subscription. I don't really care. I don't drive Toyota, so. <laughs> and every Toyota that I want is uh, built before this year, I think. Oh yeah, well, I know you love. I I know you love the Toyota Starlet GLS. I'd have a new Corolla. Same actually. I, every time I see one of those in person, they just look so good. Yeah, they're all right. I'd rather have a Camry. But I don't know nah, how much nah, longer the Camry's gonna. I'd rather have a Swace. Swaces don't have leather, that's the only reason I don't want a Swace. Yeah, but they're called the Swace. That is true. You see them as well, they are about. Yeah, people actually buy the Swace. Mm. You see quite a few of those new MGs as well about actually, which I'm noticing. It's unfortunate. The MG5 SWEV. That's, again, that's also unfortunate. <laughs> to be fair, it's not a very good car, but... No. Um, it's kind of a decent value proposition. I guess, but you do have to drive an MG. That is true, but like, a Corsa EV is 32 grand. Yeah, but the and MG5, that means you have to drive a Corsa, which isn't much better. Yeah, exactly. But the MG5 station wagon is like seven grand cheaper, has the same amount of range, is quicker. It and... makes sense, which is yeah. annoying. They see a jogger. I'm actually trying to think of this like Horizon. Hmm. They could go back to Lego, to be fair. I hope they don't. I want them to go back to Mega Block. Or like a Hot Wheels 2.0. Have they bought... I'm, I'm literally trying to think. Why does everyone keep asking about the stream name? <laughs> As a, you could explain it this time. I'm not going to explain it. You yes, can. you it's are. Your it's your title. Fine, I guess nobody's going to explain it. Say the line, Bart. No, if I wanted the stream title to bring people in, I'd like call it. I don't know. What stream catches people's brains? We give away two hundred dollars. Why I don't think Caitlyn Jenner was brave. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title. Why I think trans athletes are. I don't know. White people saying the N word for 60 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Because no one knows who Damon Hill is, Daniel. Damon Hill's like the second most forgettable F1 champion of 1990. 
Who's the most forgettable champion? Or Jack Villeneuve. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold yeah, on. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Shit, actually. Right, hold on, let me do this. 1999 was Hackman, 98 was Hackman, 97 was Villeneuve, 96 was Hill, 95 was Schumacher, 94 was Schumacher, 93 was Prost, 92 was Mansell? 91 Senna? 90 Senna? Eh? I think. And then 89 prostate, 88 center, I think. Yeah. There you go. He said prostate. Hmm. Go on, Elza, how far can you go back? I don't know. Come on, you got to do something. Right. I don't watch it. I, don't I know, I just want to see how, how far you can get back. 2021, who was champion? Matt. Matt. Max! Oh, Max, 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 yeah. Yes. Tw 2020. Well, fucking Hamilton. 2019. Hamilton. 2018. Hamilton. 2017. Hamilton. 2016. Hamilton. Ah, Rosberg. What the fuck do I know? No one cared about F1 in 2016. Yeah, they did. <laughs> No, they didn't. That's when everyone was just like, Sky Sports was just constantly publishing articles like, oh, I think Lewis might have gone over the line this time. <laughs> when drive to the All right, came. 2014. 2015. Sorry. Hamilton. 2014. Hamilton. 2013. Vettel. 2012. Was I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck. I don't know Hamilton. 2012. I don't know. Vettel won it like four times in a row. Oh well, that's 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 giving me him <laughs> until 2010. Yeah. <laughs> 2009. Alonso. I don't know. Nah. No. All right, we're gonna stop now. Inferno. Won one. Mm -hmm. 2021. Matt. 2020. Lewis. Oh, you saw 2019. The 2009. He heard the answers. <laughs> Fair point. 2009. <laughs> Jensen Bond. 2008. Oh yeah, forget Jensen. <sighs> Sebastian Bell. Nope. Hamilton, oh. 2008, innit? Oh yeah. shit, yeah. That was the massa, is that like Glock? Yeah. <laughs> right, as I got like three okay, failure no. points, so I'll give you three. 2007. Alonso. Kimi fucking the Yeah, Kimi. Chicane. Oh. Ahoy, good morning. You're gonna play a game uh, with us, cause okay, we're this no. bold. Okay. Right, F1 champions going backwards, 2021. Uh, Verstappen. 2020. Hamilton. 2019. Hamilton. 2018. Hamilton. 2017. Hamilton. 2016. Rosberg. 2015. Hamilton. 2014. Hamilton. 2013. Vettel. 12. Battle. 11. Battle. 10. Battle. Did I say 10? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 09. Button. 8. Massa. I mean Hamilton. <laughs> 7. <laughs> if I was Brazilian, I'd say that. Uh, Raikkonen. Yeah. 6. Alonso. 5. Alonso. 4. Schumacher. 3. Schumacher. Two. Schumacher. One. Schumacher. Zero. Schumacher. Nine. Ninety nine. Akinen. Ninety eight. Akinen. Ninety seven. Villeneuve. Ninety six. Villeneuve. Damon Hill. Ninety five. Schumacher. Ninety four. Schumacher. Ninety three. Frost. Ninety two. Mansell. Ninety one. Senna. Ninety. Senna. 89. Prost. 88. Senna. 87. PK. 86. Prost. 85. Prost. 84. Prost. <laughs> louder, innit? That's louder! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was like, fuck! <laughs> I'm so happy you stopped there, because that's when my memory starts <laughs> Because, like, I'll keep going, because, like, 
I was gonna say if, yeah, yeah. once we get to the seventies, I'm fucked because I was gonna say PK, then Rosberg, then um, Rosberg's eighty two. PK, PK is yeah, eighty one and eighty three. Yeah, eighty is Alan Jones. Seventy nine is Sh- Schechter. Uh, Schechter. Seventy eight yep. is Andretti. Seventy seven is uh, Lauda. Yeah. Hunt. Lauda. It was, was in 77, it was Vaughn in 76. Six. 75 was... That's not Stewart. Stewart retired in 73. Fuck, who won 75? Was it... Oh, shit. Um, Ram Hill, or was it Jim Clark? No, Jim Clark died in the 60s. No, uh, that, Clark, yeah, Clark died in the 60s. 75. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> 75 was... Um, bit of, no, that's 74. Stewart was 74. Three. Was that Lauda's first championship? No. Lauda? Yeah. Okay. 74 that was, was the first championship. Yeah, so 74 was Vitapaldi, 73. Stewart, 72. Vitapaldi, 71. Uh. Holm? Who, who died and then won the championship dead? Was it Dennis oh. Holm? I think that would have happened before then. These guys are losing their time. Or Rint. That was, that was Rint. Oh. That was 70, I think. Yeah, Rint somewhere in there. Yeah. It was Stewart in 71 and then Rint in 70. 70. Yeah, that, that, that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. 70, 60s, and 50s is where it starts to get fuzzy. I know in the 50s it was like 51 Fangio, 50. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Farina, right, hold on. 50 Farina was, was Farina. Farina, Fangio 51, Ascari 52, Ascari 53, Fangio 54, Fangio 55. Hold on. Fangio One, 56, 57? 7. Yep. Mike Hawthorne 58? Yeah. Uh. Who's fucking I know Phil Hill's 61. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's 62. Yeah. 59 was... Okay, so 58 was Mike Hawthorne. 59 was... Uh... Oh. Mm. Was this, like, the Italian guy or something? No, I think... Um, Ascari was the last Italian to win the world title. Oh, that you, that Shit, you that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, the Italians have, like, a reputation of being very quick and then just, like, been here in the Monaco Harbour. So. <laughs> This is the okay. Italian now, I'm on, now I'm on Wikipedia. Jack Brabham, that's right. There oh, yeah. you go. Yeah. I wasn't that bad, though. Yeah, no, you did well. Mm-hmm. Azza didn't even get Rosberg. No, I didn't. I, didn't. I just got up, like, five... I don't know. <laughs> it's five minutes, five 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 minutes ago and you get your pop quiz, yeah. Welcome mm. to the Nissan GTR Black Mask. Oh, you bought the Black Mask Edition? Probably the only yeah. person's ever buy. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> was, Elsa. Well, at this point, you have all you have a bunch of money in the game, so you might as well just spend it on dumb shit. As a yeah, BTCC champions going back. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 20, 2021. I don't know. You watched it. I didn't. I watched half of twenty twenty, and I was starting I think. Uh, did you not watch 2021? Huh? I thought you watched 2021. I have this fucking server for half that time. Here, we'll get this out the way first. 2021, Jason Plato. That's the no, name no, 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 no. There we go, no. I'm done. Sutton, yes, mate. Done. Sutton's fucking Sutton I don't watch allowed. BTCC, bro. We don't get any coverage here. Oh, BTCO champions. That's easy. Then, then again, I do have like a like a jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick where I get all the English channels, so like I could watch BTCC if I we watch to. it. Like, yeah, think about it. We watch it on Sundays in here. Oh fuck! We really? just like yeah, we just screen share ITV player and watch it through the. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. BTCO ninety eight Lorenzo ninety seven. Shit, ninety seven Herlock ninety six Johannes ninety five. Herlock, 94 Lorenzo, 93 Lorenzo, 92 Lorenzo, 91 Lorenzo, and 90 was Roy Cop, I think. There you go. BTCO's illustrious fucking history. 
seeing five or ten depends on my line. What the fuck is so. BTCO? Oh, it's the touring car thing on the ball. Sim oh. racing shit. I drive mm -hmm. Volvo and have not done very well. <laughs> but it's okay. Because I almost got a podium once. I almost just won a race once. Once? In a fucking voxel. Wow. It's sponsored by the Sunday Times. So you know it's a good voxel. That car was shit. That's the worst car I've driven in that series. It's the most boring car in the world. Accord is best car. It'd be actually pretty sick to go to the, to the UK for BTCC run. I think about it. I don't still have not have, watched like, one yet. Don't they got like Formula Ford on like... Um, we've got Formula 4, uh, Mini Coopers, Carrera Cup. It depends like which one you go to. There's like loads of like... So oh, don't I'm like hyped for next year. I don't know if you remember Mushy, but I remember before the pandemic, we were trying to plan to go, like, I was planning on flying oh, yeah, there yeah. to uh, Thruxton to go meet up with him, but then fucking Rona happened. That won't go to Thruxton. <laughs> I think that's the closest to him. Emil is very good at getting in the way of Lorenzo on reverse grid races. Yeah, that's sort of my job. I'm the blocker from the speed carbon, usually. You yeah, are. Metal. Driving the Peugeot in 2001, that's the plan. I don't know what I'm driving in 2000, because I can't drive my Volvo into 2000, which is true. I watch all of racing when F1 isn't on. <laughs> that one's yeah. like the only blocker that's like memorable. Like, I don't know shit about Sims. Oh, oh, hold on. No, wait, whoa, 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 wait, actually, hold on, can we do this? Right, Neville Blocker. Um, Yuki, <laughs> Yuki was a scout. But, 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 but Sal came first. Yeah, Sal came first. Yeah, okay, Sal's scout. Yumi's a scout. Colin's a drafter. Yeah. What was the Samson. other guy called? Samson's Samson. blocker. Samson's blocker. blocker. Mickey's a drafter. Yeah. Who else was there? That's it. I don't think there was. No, there's another one, isn't there? Ah. No. Uh. No, because it's Neville, Sal, the three, the three bosses. Right hand men slash women, I guess, and then Nikki. That's literally it, because that's how short these first speed carbon is. That's fresh, fresh, fresh. Fucking. There was a place here called Carbon Canyon. Every time carbon I go, Canyon. I always, I always <laughs> had to bump high boys. <laughs> I was <laughs> gonna say, do you not like just to like constantly like walk around in a trench go and just go? You'll never survive it. <laughs> I don't play the fucking just music. Point at, point at, <laughs> just point at fucking cars and say you never survive it. <laughs> You'll never survive it. Never survive it. Urge was back in town, and now I want to hear your gun. I love the intro to that game because it's just like, here's a guy who knows you from like five years ago. Now he's got to explain everything you need to know in the game on how to beat him, and then he's just like, oh well, don't stick around. It's like, oh. Well, back in your day, we just had cars, but now we've got tuners, mussels, tuners. exotics. We can oh, buy yeah, a Lamborghini. Oh yeah, exotic cars were invented in 2006. Yeah. yeah bro, the first exotic car was the Lamborghini Merchalago, did you not know? Yeah. Cool. Some of the classifications in that game are weird. Isn't the fucking Lotus at least technically an exotic by that game's, like, standards? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it is, it is a fantastically broken car. Clearly a muscle car. I just want to beat that game with a Mazda Speed. Like, I've been so close to beating uh, Darius with the Mazda Speed 3. And, like, Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, dude. You could do that if you just abused the fact that the manual transmission is way better. I, I Well, I, that's all I play with. But, like... Good. But you can't... You can't beat him without like abusing the uh, the collision the, the collision detection or whatever when you're doing the lead run. I'm trying to do that without that. I've been super fucking close. Boom, boom, boom. That game had a fucking soundtrack and a half. It did. It's a shame half the time it wasn't on. I was just gonna say that. I don't remember shit about the soundtrack. Oh, I mean the licensed soundtrack was a bit iffy, but like the canyon oh. sounds were cool. With the drums and the fucking horns and shit. Oh, yeah. 
I accidentally fueled the car. Oh, all my mechanics are Nissan branded. That's cute. Cool. I wonder if all of Boris Johnson's mechanics are Honda. <laughs> I, I, there's a guy called Boris Johnson in the race. What do you want? I just, I, know, I just realized that. Yeah. Barely remember the car, etc. Um, I mean, some of the license stuff was all right, like ish. Yeah. I just remember the fucking um, Steamworks. I remember it's hype boys. Uh, Do you know Wolf the Steam. one thing I loved about that game soundtrack when it was licensed? Yes. It changed depending on what car you was in. That was kind of cool. Like it's even like the main that. menu soundtrack would change depending on the car. I did fully. Wait, that. Really? Yeah. yeah each uh, class of car had its own song in the main menu. So if you was in a muscle car, it was more like rock music. If you was in an exotic, it was more beeps and boops. Is actually yeah. interesting, and the license oh, soundtrack yeah. and free roam changed as well. So if yeah. you drove an exotic, you'd hear hype boys. If you drove a muscle car, you'd hear fucking wolf mother. Obnoxious fucking yeah. <laughs> don't move, don't speak, even whisper. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> and if you drove a tuner, you inexplicably heard Gary Newman. Oh, <laughs> listen, that Gary Newman song's a fucking. Fantastic. Chew. Completely inexplicable. And also, you'd hear Neville's song as well, <laughs> which yeah. was always really distracting. <laughs> I just the the fucking I'm sorry the fucking VOs of um, when you like pick up crew members and stuff. They're the best thing about Carbon. I wish oh, every yeah. racing I've game needs to do that. Video of them, but it's just them spinning. Like fools and needs that with Rossi. Yeah. Like just fucking hype boys <laughs> and like a Ferrari and just spinning around and all the rest of it. That'd be great. I'd buy Forza for that. I used to watch those and think they were cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used to think Darius looked cool. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> no, Need for Speed Carbon's great because you don't actually realise what they're dressed like until you actively start I looking for it. Dressed an antagonist in any game I've ever played. Like, if you walked around the town centre in, what was it? It was a flat cap, a flat red cap. jacket, really, really Nico like Bellic's red. fucking, like, under thing that he had in GTA 4, camo fucking cargo wow. pants, and, like, Timberlands. <laughs> Just like that, you'd be mugged. Yeah. I dare you, you to dress... Like, I dare you to dress like Darius at some point. No. Just go to a charity shop. You can probably find all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I want to dress like that for one Halloween. 11 o'clock, I'm swinging my phone. It'll be great. We could have like the full set. Like I can do the Darius thing. As I can dress like Angie. Um... I'm not dressing like Angie. I'm dressing like Walt. Yeah, I was gonna say, fucking test drives dressed like Nikki before on live streams, so you know, it all works. Actually, no, I would just dress as Neville, because I'm a very Neville person. Chase are gonna be you, me. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> no, Scotia and Samson. You could be Sal. <laughs> yeah, we worked as Sal ages ago. I was going to say, um, it might have been before your time, but we have commands in this server. If you type like NFS and then someone's name, it'll just play what Need for Speed character they are. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Yeah, I can't remember right. how the commands work. I think it's like NFS and it's like dash, like a middle slash and it's whoever's name you want. It's there. It has not been updated in years, so I've got no idea who's related to who at this point. But... No idea who's even on it. I know I'm Darius in one of them. I can't remember who's, who's most fucking wa Ronnie. I can't remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> you are a bit like Ronnie though. I can I can it's imagine you like, dressed yeah, in like a number headband fifteen and... guy in the black. Yeah. Tell me what it looks like. Tell me Thank what God. it is. Tell me what it looks. Like. Boost is Sal easily. Oh God, yeah. I fucking love Sal's intro video where he's just like looking around. Oh, excuse me. You, me yeah. Chaser. He yeah, you are Baron, actually. I can see that. Get it? Because his car's got fire on it. And also, you probably dress like a twat. Oh. As. Oh, Chasey got Char Charzen. Yeah. Jesus, okay. Um. 
Why is Daniel Taz? <laughs> yeah, why? Daniel strikes me as a Taz. Oh. Is it because he listened to Avenged Sevenfold? Does he listen to Avenged Sevenfold? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the coolest I thing thought, when I was nine. I thought Daniel just listened to a diet of feeder. <laughs> of course, um, as his mistake kissed me on Irish. Yeah. <laughs> How's your car running? How's your car running? I'm Kays. Yeah, we kind of ran out of characters for you, so I just yeah. went for feminine people who have Asian descent. And all oh, they're side by side, but it's the Subaru Blitzen getting beaten by the Nissan 350Z. Which car weighs more? Who knows? Fun fact about the Blitzen, it's got a gearbox developed by Porsche. There you really? go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, I think it's the same gearbox that went into the Hyundai XG30 as well, so... Oh! Which oh, America got thing. as... Yeah, I think you got it as somewhere else, I can't remember what it was. XG350. So. Yeah, there you That's go. That's what we got, yeah. Yeah, so, I have a friend who, um, who got that from his grandma, and he was like, Man, I'm gonna do some bullshit to it. I'm like, okay. So he just straight piped and put a fucking loud ass exhaust. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so we were going around like Rodeo Drive, Hollywood, just fucking bur like, like revving the car. All you hear is just the car go. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> so let's see. Boost is holding. So then we're. Oh, uh, he's, he, he's, he's, he's gonna. Is big look. Dude, dude, he's gonna put a fucking like. I think he's gonna put like some setup on it so that way he can do like start doing like two step competitions in a fucking Hyundai SG350. Why? Because <laughs> for him it's just a fun dumb shit for this car. I, I get. I, I just don't get stuff like that because it's like you could just buy a better car. <laughs> like. But he got it for he got it for free from his grandma. Yeah, I guess. Oh. Granny gaming. Hello, Granny gaming. Oh, speaking of Granny. Granny. Fucking hell. Yeah. The fucking I remember those XG thirty things. None of those yeah. exist anymore. Literally none. Nope. Of them. No, they've all gone. They've rotted with the fucking Sonatas <laughs> and like. That's a clever one. Instagram and fucking okay, that's a clever one. And Chevrolet Epicas. Wait, what? What? <laughs> okay, so exclamation marks fucking Inferno just brings up. The Carl Johnson meme. Oh, yeah. Where it goes, oh shit, here we go again. Mm. <laughs> so I, what do you mean by that? CR27's just got a guy sticking his dick in a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I got one that 50th episode well, when a car runs that royal? Oh, yeah. Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you run a car? Wait, no, yeah, it's either that or, like, misfueling, I don't remember, one of the two. It should really be what happens when you money shift an impreza. Shut the fuck up, I did it. <laughs> you also can't prove you never did do, do it. There'd be a hole in my transmission. There was a hole in the engine block. I like how everyone's like, oh, I missed that car. It's just like, yeah, that car's dead. <laughs> it was shit. That is great, fuck off. Yeah. You thought that thing was like the coolest thing ever. I did. Okay, like that game. one's dark. What? Um, plant pot just tied in exclamation mark Ludo. It's just come on with say or his death front token yeah. joke image. Yeah, oh yeah, doesn't it? Jesus. Yeah. It's all right. I think if you type mine, I think it just tells you to kill yourself. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, still here. That's a shame. <laughs> Space top female. Eight is is anyone pit or are they still in their old tyres? Or are all these tyre marks mine? I'm not actually sure. Alright, so I posted the videos in response. The uh, the first one is in the LAX tunnel, and then the second two, the second and third ones are at the back straightaway of the Long Beach Grand Prix circuit. <laughs> Jesus. I'll give a walk to it. Yeah. Fucking racing the indie cars in the XG three fifty. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking XG three fifty. <laughs> My bomb bus. 
Oh, oh, well, well. I got a hose. <laughs> Say the line. Call it. A young phone. Or a shack with. I like that song, I'm sorry. So what? Uh, Adapt At a party, it fucking slaps, bro. Yeah, I was gonna You're say, like, it's perfect for this test. Dude, hell yeah. So many fucking house parties I've, oh. I've gone to where that shit was just pumping, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> not a, it's not, without alcohol, it's not a good song. With it, with it, it's John puts his dick inside the fan and fucking dies. Yeah, that's a thing that exists. Wow, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna see how many miles this girl's got on it after this. And we'll see how... If it really is 186 miles. Although I highly doubt it. I like how the GeForce graph is the wrong way around. I think. Oh! What? Exclamation mark CR27. Yeah, my N word John puts his dick in a fan and fucking dies. Mm. He does put his dick in a fan. And fucking dies. And he does fucking die. You can't deny that's what happened. That's how Lil John got formed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why him and the East Side boys like to see ass and cities, but they never like to go any further than that. Me are in and this me are you. Fucking East Side boy. Or did they ever do another song of the Get Low? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know about the about the East Side boys, but there's a lot of like I know Lil John did. A few bits. I feel like Lil John was in fucking scary movie at one point. He did. He did turn down for a while. Out of him. Chicane. Romaine is asking if Grand Trust is switching to Fnatic. Are you going to switch to Fnatic? I responded, if you can get me in contact with a Fnatic rep, then I will. <laughs> but I don't. I can't afford. Just say you're like one of the quickest guys on the West Coast. Let's say you're the number 15 guy on the blacklist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number 15 guy on the GT list. Thanks for the update. Fan attack. Isn't like every oh, fucking oh, thing partnered with Fan attack? Uh, I don't know. Also, hi, Gavin. good question. What's up, Gavin? Yeah, so well. Hello, Gavin. Yeah, because <laughs> I, 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 WRC 10 is Fan attack. Gran Turismo's Fanatec, Forza was Fanatec. I don't Gran know. Gran Turismo was Rust Master, but Fanatec, the part, I think a part oh, of it's like brand new. Isn't F1 2021 Fanatec? I know I they use. The or is it Logitech? The There's like loads of Logitech branding in the game, but I don't know if that's just because it's on the McLaren. I have no oh, idea. Oh, oh. I saw oh, yeah. the fucking the one guy that anyone ever knows out of F1 esports won the championship again. Oh yeah, okay, what? so Lil John and the East Side Boys. God what damn you, it, what Channel you... 5. Huh? What? What's Channel Sorry, 5 uh, done? We just typed in uh, exclamation mark Scotian and the video come. And when you click on the video, it says, This video contains contents from Channel 5, who has blocked it in your country on carpet grounds. What That's fucking video country. is it? Mice Miner Police Chase 2018. Ah, uh, that, got, that got blocked years ago. <laughs> Anyways, Lil John, go. Um, what you gonna do? I, that's another song I remember now. Can't say it that goes like. Now. It's like when you step up. Wait, no. It's like uh, if you fall up in the club and them want a mug. When you step up, and, when you step up to their face, what? what? What they going? I can't say it. What they going to do? Shit. I was gonna say you can only say like 
he can't say actually according to fucking Twitch's new lines, you can't say anything, man. <laughs> You're fucked. We can't even say Gringo anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, because every slur is bad now. All of uh, them. Well, that makes sense. Well, because a bunch of retards off Twitch got banned for saying cracker. So. <laughs> and then they're how, like, that's not a slur. It's... How they celebrate Christmas oh, now. Yeah. No, but it was. Well, they said it in that term, and then it was like, but you can't be racist towards white people. And it was like, well, it's not entirely true. But yeah, well, no, I mean... Be, it can be racist towards white people, and it is funny when you are. In fairness, though, if you are going to ban, like, one thing, you need to ban, like, the rest of them as well. Like, yeah, all or nothing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I just think it should be nothing. Racism is racism at the end of the day. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah! Speaking of banning things, so you know how Twitter's got hard on... not You know how Tumblr's got hard on against porn, yeah? I thought you were saying Twitter's got a hard one against porn. I was like, Twitter definitely does not have a hard one against porn. Nah, 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 still. Okay, mm. so Tumblr has updated it itself mm. so that if your t post has certain tags, it won't show up. The usual, right. like, any anything to do with sex related, yeah? One of the tags is submission, which, understandable for BDSM thing. Here's the problem, Tumblr automatically tags any post you do with submission, so nothing's showing up anymore. Isn't Tumblr just dead anyway, because of well, yeah. I say that. It's the banning of now. pornography anyway? Yeah. It's like when OnlyFans tries to ban pornography. Yeah, like, that works so well. Yeah, it works really well. On the plus side, the person I used to follow did a sale recently, so... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Or whoever. Amaranth. It's not Amaranth, mate. Is it not? No. Why would you ever subscribe to Amaranth's OnlyFans? Have you not seen her Twitter? No. <laughs> it's like the same because effect. Because I'm not fucking lonely. Oh. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, me. Oh. I mean, again, you don't like... Bad back of shit. I'm fairly certain her... Only fans is like no nudity, so. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. If you, like, literally look at her Twitter oh, for like five If you look at her Twitter for like five seconds. I'm almost weird anyway. Have you ever heard her speak? I remember once on. Um, no, I haven't. She speaks oh, like I a 50 year old Jewish grandmother. It's not good. It's like, oh what my god, that? have you seen that? Like, she's got like a really like nasally old woman voice. It does not go whatsoever. So, speaking of OnlyFans, before I stopped using dating apps, I remember once, I like, I, I, I found this one girl who was like, she was like an emo gamer, like, weep chick. I'm like, okay. So I, I liked her profile, and then like, I read her bio, and then her bio was like, it was like um, I'm on IG and OF, and I didn't it, like cross. It didn't cross my mind that OF <laughs> and OF and so, fans. and so when um, when we matched like a month later, I went back. I was like, "Who the fuck is this again?" And so I go, I'm like, "OF, OF, OnlyFans." And so I looked her profile up, and then she has like she had like a fuck to the subscribers. I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> the girls I never. I, I yeah. Well, I respect the hustle, but I never uh, followed up with her. I was like, man, I'm bored of dating apps. This, this sucks. Yeah, to be fair, I just love the. Uh, I've joined a million following on Twitter. Daniel is also a part of the. Uh... Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I just love. It. Have you seen that fucking text message one with uh, the OnlyFans girl? Mm -mm. Where the girl's like, oh, I've got an OnlyFans. He's just like, oh, we're not going out to dinner now. She was just like, why? Because I've got an OnlyFans. He was like, no, I just don't know why I'd pay fucking money to feed you when I could just like go on OnlyFans folly for like four ninety nine and see everything I need to, <laughs> <laughs> which is accurate. <laughs> that's grimy as fuck, but goddamn, that's yeah, so kind of true. Literally. Did you really expect anything else? No. I'm not even going to ask Chaser why he was trying to set up an OnlyFans, but okay. Oh, they are pitting. Kind of. I don't know if this is the first time he's pitted or not. I yeah. am not going to put fuel in the car this time around. Let's... The front end of this oh. fucking GTR is toast, but whatever. What, is it two snappers? Okay. Yeah, we're on like a five or six stop because Grand Chisma. 
I mean, you are in a car that weighs, what, one half tons? Two hours! This is also Gran Turismo. Hmm? This is also Gran Turismo. Number five. I'm sure you remember Gran Turismo 3 with the most quarter least. I still can't believe the intro of... Yes! I still can't believe the intro of this series got blocked for a song that's not even in the fucking intro. It's alright, I found a way around it. It'll be funny. <laughs> oh. I've got like the unblocked ver- oh, uh, yeah, I've got like the blocked version still, just in case like they unblock it at some point and I'll just oh, switch them. That's why you wanted the spec to intro, I yeah, but I can't be asked to download the spec to intro, so I've just gone ahead and just made a little do 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 do. So, that's all right. Speaking of Need for Speed Carbon having a good soundtrack, this game does not have a very good soundtrack. No. This game has like two or three good songs, yeah. Implosion Attic and Boys Bad News, that's like it. I have Rockets, alright. Yeah. Rocket's good. Uh, I like just one second. Uh, what about the Scorpion song in here? A Scorpion song? Scorpion There's a Scorpion made more song. than one song. Fuck me. Yeah. I only know like one Scorpion song, and it's the same Scorpion song everyone knows. Which one? Rock you like a hurricane. Hey, that's the oh. only song we made. This doesn't have a good soundtrack. Yeah. To be fair, out of all the Gran Turismo games, this is probably the weakest soundtrack? Six. Wasn't Six just five soundtrack? No. No, it's GT Sport that just literally robs every other game soundtrack, isn't it? Yep. Got that. Fine, in that case, Sport has the weakest soundtrack purely because Sport <laughs> does nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's just old Gran Turismo songs. I can't remember when people were like, oh my god, they use like the arcade theme from Gran Turismo 2, that's so cool, it's like, well, no, it's just lazy, isn't it? Because <laughs> they can't be fucked to record another song. In fairness, don't get me wrong, like, most of Gran Turismo menu music is just remixes of old songs, but like, they could have at least remixed it, they literally just used the old GT2 arcade song, that's it. Actually, it's like a, yeah, it was a remix version. Uh, it isn't, it's the original version. <laughs> Basically what happened as far as I can tell, it's the same version that was on like a GT2 soundtrack. I think they like oh. make these things unpolished and then someone from the European division just like cleans it up. Oh, you mean like those like music of the Grand Turismo series CDs? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're like the actual original like bass recordings and then someone just goes in there and cleans it up and masters it a bit. Uh. Because it's like okay. if you listen to the original like East City soundtrack, it's a bit different than all the rest. Like they all sound a little bit different. Got it. I do not understand those music of Gran Turismo ones. I'll be honest. Like they go through the effort of like making like fucking like the wind and songs like that, and then they like literally just don't use them. <laughs> it's like what's the point? It's like if Halo recorded a bunch of songs but only used the Halo theme for like every single time that needed music. <laughs> du -du -du -du. <laughs> like, in fairness, Halo One does that a little bit where they use like free songs pretty much exclusively, but still, there's only so many times you can hear the Covenant dance before it makes you want to slit your own wrist. This is somehow worse than Fatboy Slim. I uh, actually okay. GC Two Power soundtrack might be better than this. In fairness, I don't know what did GC Two. Actually, no. GC Two Power had like three good songs. I was the the Fatboy Slim song was the only bad one in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, but every other song's just like worse versions of other songs. Like all the instrumental stuff, like literally, like did not have to exist. Like, I, I don't know why you wouldn't just use the Stereophonic song, or the Manson song. You know what I mean? In fairness, the Stereophonic song is about robbing graves, and the Manson song is about... What is it? Crashing TVRs and killing film stars. But, 
Also, this is the same game that had sex type thing in like all uncensored just... glory, so. I was just gonna say that. You never should have worn the dress. Yeah, exactly, it's that shit. <laughs> like. Sex type thing. Sex type thing is a banger of a song in fairness, but still. GT2 Pal could have. Instead, we got Fat Boys then. Yeah. The Stone Temple Pilot stuff's like. alright ish. <laughs> I don't know. I listened to like two full albums the other day. I came away like liking one song off of each other than the one song that I already knew I liked on there. So. Because of Gran Turismo and San Andreas? Yeah, and well, okay, the sex type thing and plush albums are really good. Uh, Core's great, like Core has some like bangers of some songs on it. Like the one where he's talking about having sex with midwives and stuff like that's all good. Um, <laughs> And then the 94 album had, like, two good songs on it. And then the 95 album had, like, one. <laughs> and one that I like, ironically. I got a girlfriend. She goes to art school. I got an art school girlfriend, yeah. That's the song. Like, that's it. <laughs> and that's... I, I like that, ironically. But the uh, fucking... Trip on a hole in a paper heart. That's a good one. Yeah. No, the same simple pilot Wait. stuff's pretty alright. Yeah, it ain't bad. Are you doing the next endurance after this? Uh, I'm thinking about it. Hazard's gonna protest, but... I could probably sit and do a four-hour roadster endurance, or at least get halfway through it. Alright, cool. Well, because I'm gonna grab breakfast, because I'm starving. So oh, what back. <laughs> Listen to four STP songs. What are the four STP songs you've listened to that aren't sex-type thing and plush? Because they're like the two ones that everyone knows. Please don't say Wet My Bed, because Wet My Bed is not a good song. <laughs> the lyrical content of Wet My Bed is exactly what you think it is, by the way. It is a song about a guy wetting a bed. Inferno, what have you been listening to recently? Um... Yes, yeah, not including. <laughs> not, I don't not actually know what you... I don't actually know what your music taste is, I'll be honest. Part of me wants uh, to say it's probably, like, quite, like, good, and then the other part of me thinks you just listen to Sonic soundtracks all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's not far off the truth. Yeah, oh, I God. I do listen to Sonic Colors. I like the soundtrack to Sonic to Colors. <laughs> there was a soundtrack in Sonic Colors? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> yeah, Daniel, which two songs? Um, I don't know, what do you listen to, Inferno? What do you like? Uh, what, what's your vibe? ACDC, Dragon Force, um... Oh, you know, anything that's basically rock or metal. Oh, God. Fair enough. So you don't like Fatboy Slim, huh? In the heaven, in the heaven. <laughs> in fairness, <laughs> if you can name me more than two Flatboy Slim songs, I'd be amazed. There's In Heaven and there's the fucking... Oh, God, what was he? Was... He was, like, famous for one song in the 90s. I can't remember what it was, though. No, I can't. But I can name you one of his aliases. Gone. Margaret Scratcher. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. That song. That was his. Sonic has a soundtrack. Yeah, Sonic has a soundtrack. It's just screaming autistic nine-year-olds. Oh, fuck off. I'm like the hedgehog. <laughs> How can you be offended? You prefer fucking Crash Bandicoot anyway. I remember that from the time I accidentally. I remember that from the time I accidentally engaged with you on Twitter. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Where I was just like, oh, who wants a crash game anyway? And I had like fucking four or five Inferno followers just be like, oh my God, we've been waiting for this game forever. I was just like, mate, it's in the fucking bargain bin at Asda. It's been out for two weeks. Holy shit! Chill. It was good, but it was a bit shit. What was it? Cash. Crash 4. What was it called? It's about time or something like that. Yeah. Right? 
it was good. It was good, but the way I, they made it such a long game was shit. I played them as a kid, and I remember nothing about them other than a snow level. You jump. You jump. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not really a platformer person. I like Mario, that's about as far as you'll get me. I liked Mario, I liked Pikmin, although that wasn't really, that was more of a strategy what? game. No, because I'd like, fucking, I felt bad as a kid, because like, I sent like 50 Pikmin to kill like one thing and brought it back to a ship and it was only worth 10. Yeah, Pikmin was alright. I considered you to be a Pikmin bloke. I played a bit of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger as well. Like. Which, yeah, we had it on the, like. we had it on the GameCube. Oh, God. We had Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. We had Pikmin. We had 18 Wheels of Steel. I think it was called. Which was like some weird like outrun meets Euro Truck Simulator. Um, and then we had Burnout 2. <laughs> Which I hated. Everyone already knows what I was so Vaseline right. and dead and bloated. So you've listened to like the two fucking. Okay. <laughs> well done, Daniel. You've listened to like the two songs from that album that I probably wouldn't recommend, other than Wet My Bed. <laughs> well, get. Listen to the entirety of Core. Core's good shit. You need to listen to Core and then like. Hey, you never got into. Crash by or Sonic. Oh, thank fuck, you'd be even weirder. Listen, we all know who the best fucking platform was anyway. Yeah, Croc. No, Gex the Gecko. Oh, yeah, Gex was sound. Gex was fucking shit. You don't see any fucking Gex photos, do you? No, because they'd be scalies, wouldn't they? It's the same general. Why do I know that? You've been around me too long. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, did uh, LRC tell you about his new project, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could be interesting. Can't wait for it to go wrong. He might die. Yeah, I can't wait for it to go wrong, because it's yeah. got to go wrong. It's... it was a 500 quid fucking... It was 500 quid? I thought it was, like, 300 quid. I actually, to be fair, from his message, I thought he'd just been given it. Fucking looks like he's been giving it with how much there wasn't to it. I think he says he's just gonna stick a case here, isn't it, and watch it explode. So. Everyone says they'll do that though. Well, I mean, it's got no engine at the moment, so you've got to do something with it. Just, like, not unless you're gonna you make like the sickest. Holes in the rusted out floorboard and just fucking flintstone it along. No, you should just turn it into a sim rig. Just stick like a fucking like curved TV on it. <laughs> and just like, yeah, get rid of the floor. I'd do that. Ratchet and Clank. I never played Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. There's a lot of platformers I didn't play. Oh, but you might like one of them. I just. I'm not young anymore. Yes, you don't want me to have a clone. That would be terrifying. Jax too. Oh, I don't if he had a clone, he would have killed himself, wouldn't he? Fucking hell, sure, why not? Yeah, man, it's, um... Core's good shit. Core's good. Big Empty's good, because that's like the single from the next album. And then Trippin' a Hole, and everything else is a bit naff, as far as I can work out. I've been listening to Filter recently. Filter's good shit. I don't like their new stuff though, I've listened to a few of their new singles and uh, it, it's not great, let's put it that way. I think it's like reverse Kid Rock. <laughs> like, I I've, don't know if the song, I, I, like, I don't know what side the song's supposed to be on, all I know is the album cover's got like an American flag and a guy with an AR-15 in it and it's not very good. But is it not? No, it's not as good as the, the Kid Rock song. That was fucking the new Kid Rock song is so fucking good. I'm sorry, I love it. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. <laughs> it's great. It's fucking awful. <laughs> I just love that fucking how I found out about on Twitter was an outrage thread. It was just like some girl was just like, oh, when your anon uncle walks in on like Christmas Day, 
and it played like two minutes of the song and then like Justin Wang retweeted it and said, no, nah, this is actually a banger. And everyone in the comments was like, no, you're wrong. And he was like, well, it's going on my fucking lifting playlist, so fuck you. It's up. It's great. Yeah. He slangs more dick than Brad Pitt, apparently. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know if that was a gay thing or not. Yeah, I can tell you've been listening to Filter a lot. Yeah, man. To be fair, I haven't listened to the album after this one. The 99 album isn't as good as Short Bus. Short Bus is the best album. Because Short Bus is just... Short Bus is literally my sort of music, where it's just sort of heavy bass intros and wild guitars. And a guy being entirely unhinged. That's all I need. And also, they don't like one of the only ever good depression songs. So. And it's funny because the background of that song has an old toilet in it. Nice. Nice. Which you don't realise until you like really listen to it and then you can't stop hearing it. As are you excited? No. New Slipknot album start next year. Cool. So I guess what's well, music's gonna be full off by the end of that month. Cool. Yeah. It should be good. The single they released was alright. Probably. Well, to be fair, the single they released was apparently about Jack the Ripper, but I'm fairly certain Corey Taylor's just angry with the internet again. Yeah. That happens a lot. Got ten laps to go. Yeah, no slim album. Uh, we don't know what it's called yet. Technically, they're supposed to already have released the fucking weird abstract Radiohead sounding one, but... They just haven't bothered yet. Whether that's going to be any good or not, I don't know. Although, considering... I mean, I don't... Do you listen to a lot of Radiohead? No. I can't remember the last person that's listened to Radiohead. It, Radiohead was, like, big in America. It wasn't, like... No. I think I've heard Radiohead songs before, but... The problem with Radiohead is they kind of sound like stereophonics, and I also used to get them mixed up with razor light. Which is also bad. Because I thought uh, Dakota was a fucking thingy song. Yes, I know what music's going to be full of next year. Oh yeah, brother. To be fair, other people use music, it's just... Usually it's me and Scotian just sharing good shit. Yeah. Someone made me a playlist the other day, that was quite good. Okay. Yeah, a girl was like, hey, listen to this. So I did, it was pretty good. So, there you go. What have you been listening to recently, Elsa? Same old shit. Dubstep? No. What do you listen to? Pretty much fucking everything. My music hate my music playlist is the most disorganized bullshit. Give me some examples. <laughs> No, pretty give me some more. Pretty much everything. That's not a fucking cop out. Have you got any Taylor Swift in there? No, I don't. Well, there you go. That's not everything. I'm not then, a white woman. Yeah, but like, this is my point. So it can't be I'm everything. Scrolling to a random, I'm scrolling to a random bit and there's fucking... I will read the artist in all... Azza listens to Scooter. Yeah, I think Azza does listen yeah. to Scooter unironically. Yeah. He's just sat there listening to that fucking single they released last year. I can't even remember hey. how it goes now. Alvin Harris, Daft Punk, ELO, Cool <laughs> in the Gang, Manny Fesh, Phil Collins, Rod Stewart, Megadeth, <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Yellow Card, The Chemical Brothers. You can't go from Yellow Card to Megadeth to Phil Collins and not have me slightly intrigued by what's going on there. Fortunately, I have. Let me guess. The Phil Collins song's the one from Vice City Stories, the Megadeth song's the one from Vice City, and the other yellow card song's from Burnout Free. Yes. Yeah? 
Basically, I just like game music that's in games. That's good. Yeah, I don't need that much. That's my music sure. taste. Yeah. Who the fuck listened to Taylor Swift? I listened to Taylor Swift the other day. Where? The new stuff's not bad. Where? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I got recommended it, so. An unbelievable usual when a woman tells me to do something, I end up doing it. Once again, I'm stuck in here. We're almost done. That was the last pit stop. Yay! This Ooh. actually hasn't been too bad, I'll be honest. Considering. In fairness, this is our... Shit. You know this is our fifth time doing this event? No. Oh, sorry. It's our third. It's our third time doing this event. It's my fifth time doing this event. Sorry. GT one, two, three, four, five. Because mm -hmm. I did. Um, what was it in GT five or GT four? Well, this is the last time we do it. I can't remember what cars we've even used for this. GT3 was the Pagani's Honda, GT2 was a Nismo GTR LM. GT1 was an RX7 LM. I can go back and check. I don't even know what we used for this in GT4. I, was this race cars in GT4 or was this normal cars? Um, I believe it was race cars. They are I want to say it's like a Takata NSX or like the Hiroto GTR or something. Let me see. I think it was. Yeah, it was GTC. the. Yeah, it was the. RX7. It was the RX7 A spec in. Um, GT1 that you used because it was. Purple. Purple. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Sounds of Nissan GTR. Hmm. It's the sounds of the Nissan GTR. There we go. Ah. Uh, yeah, it to was. My nose, so. Yeah, it was the uh, GTR LM that you use for um. Well, race modded GTR LM. Yes, for GT2. For GT2. And I know it was on in GT3. I just don't know what it was for GT4. I remember because the Grand Valley one was the first time I ever did a live stream. Yeah. <laughs> Could at least sound a little bit more infused than that. <laughs> Get it? Like infuse yeah. Uh, like what I fucking need. Uh, uh. Once again, I'm in love you. Drifting. A bit. Drifting. A little bit more. Ooh, ah, a little bit more. Ooh, ah. Ba -do -do -do. Fuck off. I agree. 
Nissan GTR R spec. Suzuka. I like Suzuki. Yeah. What's your favorite Suzuki? Honestly, couldn't tell you. There's a lot of that you like. Please look at response update for the XG. As a go for it. My God, it does not fit there. <laughs> what the XG is up to today? Where is it? I it's next to a Supra, first of all. Oh no, it's next to an MX-5, but it's next to a Supra. Oh Jesus Christ. How did he get, like... There. How, yeah, how did you get thrown out of that? <laughs> Fuck me, Shikane. Shikane, Shikane. Moving Shikane. Day I three. Thought I, was, I thought I was a fucking retard, not find you Yavis. Day three in the big brother ass. Yeah, mate, he oh, always gets you kicked out. this server, but big brother. Yeah. That'd be great. A Yaris gets fucking kicked out of Tesco car park, let alone like a canyon. Yeah. Room. Nissan GTR R35 M spec. Funny you mentioned that. That friend works for Donut Media. Oh, Jesus. Um. I found out what you use for the uh, GT4 yeah. endurance. It's a Carto Dome NSX. Daniel was right and he beat you. I wasn't sure if it was that Sorry, or Sorry, I would have found it sooner if uh, you know, the insurances were in order. They were. I mean the order as how they are shown in the game. Yeah. Ah. They're the order they should be in the game. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to spread my suffering. I can't do that in this game. Because <laughs> technically speaking, like level, it, it's all done by levels, and I want to do it by levels. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was the Dome NSX. Because, wait, what was the Suzuka one? Suzuka, I believe, if I remember, I believe that was the Wood One. Oh yes, super. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, Wood One Super. There was the SO Flow. I swear we used the fucking Hiriotto GTR at some point as well. The weird, like blue and grey one that like no one ever uses. Hiriotto. Uh. Arigato. Akuma Amatana. A come on a potato. Nearly done with this race. Yeah, anyways, hmm. back to my point. Uh, there was an R34 uh, M spec in the. Uh, Showroom earlier. Oh, sorry, it was a. It wasn't an airspec, it was a NERD! So. Could have used that. But you point. didn't. Yeah, because I mean, who are. Again, name me. Well, one other person that's ever used the GCR black mask in the history of ever. I'll have a look. Yo, can I get some tuning advice on the Nissan GTR black mask? It's the best looking GCR. Underground Gaming Entertainment has uploaded a video of the Nissan GTR Black Mask. What, of it going around the track once? Yes. No, there you go. Moto Games TV uploaded Nissan GTR Black Mask versus Nissan GTR Drag Race. Who wins? <laughs> you decide. Now, who do you think wins? Uh, the standard GTR. Let's have a look. I mean, technically, they'd probably be tied, but knowing this game's weird. What you actual? Don't see the um, that uh, one GTR in anything else. Hmm. 
I think it might be confusing it for the PAL exclusive car. Maybe. Uh, Either that or, was it in GT3? Funny. Mm, no. Hmm. I, Maybe I thought about um, using it and then never did. Oh no wait, oh no wait. Black uh, Mask 1! Been, actually. Hang on. Hey Emil, the Black Mask 1. I did it. Yeah! By a lot? Not really. Okay. They're still GTRs. <laughs> Yeah, cool, yeah, no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't in GT3. It was no. GT4 onwards. Well, technically GT Concept. Oh, uh, that might be what I'm confusing it for. Yeah. Because I swear I drove one round Tokyo R246 at some point. Yeah, it might have been GT Concept then. I can't remember a lot of what I've used in GT Concept, to be fair. A bit of a weird LP, really. Used to get good views until Rhino did it. Huh. Well, actually, I think it still gets pretty good views in fairness. Gran Turismo it's, stuff usually does. It's a Gran Turismo game that not everyone's played. Or can play. Yeah. I was gonna say, I went inside and cut him and do GT4 Prologue. That'd be great. There's not a lot to say about GT4 Prologue, that's the issue. What a unique layout of beginner course. Unless you want me to make 50 episodes where it's just like, in this test, I'll be doing this. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> in fairness, I do want to do Taurus Trophy, and that's basically the same game, so. <coughs> the only thing with Taurus Trophy is I'd need Torrent the entire time. Torrent Trophy. Because I know nothing about bikes. I know one of the Hondas in it is called the Forza. No one did a proper GT concept LP. I don't know if, I mean, describe proper. It's 100%, not fucking proper enough. I didn't do 100%, I did like 80%. I couldn't Buzzy. be fucked to get all the gold times. But they're easy. But I couldn't be fucked. But they were easy. Well, that was fucking scary. Yeah. GT concept. More like a GT concept. <laughs> Apparently, I set my best lap time on lap 14. Mm hmm. It's all been downhill from there. Yeah. Rhino didn't do it first, I did it first. That's what yeah. I was just saying. Well, you just shown the entire description of the one girl in a hot lap in each and every set. That's not an LP, that's just... <laughs> if you want to know what proper LP is, go to Emil's Twitter. <laughs> yeah, F1. <laughs> in fairness, that's how Let's Play started off originally. People would just play through games on Reddit and upload screenshots of it. Yeah. I remember when they used to be called fucking walkthroughs. I was going to say, I can't wait to play from Halo Infinite when my Xbox Series X gets here. <laughs> Subtle flex. It's fine, the Amazon drive will probably nick it. I am actually like, half thinking that's probably going to be the way this goes. I'm not going to lie. I remember when the Nintendo Switch came out and people were literally just taking Switch blades to Amazon boxes. I'm upgrading my gameplay experience as well soon. Oh, yeah? More PC bits, because I got bored of this acting like But that's shit. not as cool as the Xbox Series X. No, it isn't. I almost bought well, I Xbox Series... I could pop you a mini fridge onto it, and it would be the same thing. But you can buy an Xbox Series X mini fridge. Yeah, exactly. I'll buy an Xbox And then you could go up to fridge. someone and go, which one's the Xbox? Which one's the fridge? <laughs> and then they like actually start taking a screwdriver to your Xbox to open. They start taking a screwdriver to my face. 
Why would you take a screwdriver to someone's face? It just seems like a less efficient knife. Uh. Is there only one race or is there more on this stream? Please only be one race. No. That'd be a shame if I was to do more than one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. I'll think about it over these last two laps. We could do that, or we could do something else. Like what? I don't know. No, exactly. Make money in GTA? No. We tried to make money in GTA last time, and all we ended up doing was making boost sad. I mean, we did, I mean... Yeah, but Boost isn't here, so he won't distract us. <laughs> he didn't distract us! Yeah, he did! No, he didn't! We didn't go on the game to do the idea of making money, did we? You did! I just wanted my fucking Range Rover. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You don't want your Range Rover, you just wanted to move cars to another garage. Oh yeah, I still need to do that. I have like a hundred thousand dollars, like I have no money in that game. Um. GTA is just fucking awkward though, because I need to wait until Thursday. I refuse to buy that fucking business until they put it on Prime. Why? Just because it's a fucking waste of money. Not a waste of money, you can make the money back. Well, I know you get a rebate, don't you, if you... Yeah. No, but what if they offer, like, I don't know, what's the cheapest locate? Does location matter? Not at all. What's the cheapest one? Two and a bit mil. How much? Two and a bit mil. Hmm. I do want that color. And fucking 1.5 mil for doing the main storyline. Is that 1.5 mil each? No, 1.5 mil for you, but... That'd help with it, I don't know. I was gonna say... So what do I get for helping you with that? I don't need help, I've already done it. Oh. But it's every time you do it. Yeah, every time you do the main contract you get a mil. Oh. But 1.5 mil for this week. Right. Not as fast as Kaipuriko, but Kaipuriko doesn't have Dr. Dre in it. Hmm. So it kind of adds up. Yeah, but also I'd need 2.2 .2 mil to buy the thing. I have a Rico, my friend. Yeah, but... I guess we could. Oh, yeah. No, it'd be funny, because you love blowing me up. That is true. And good news, everyone. We've got no British Touring Car Online tomorrow, so guess what we can do tomorrow? Oh... <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yeah. I will never be able to stream Train Simulator Wales DLC, will I? Yeah, you can. Do it at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Fuck would I do that for? Because I'm oh, not yeah, awake. Oh yeah, you like a real train officer. Yeah, and also I'm not awake. <laughs> Actually, I could just do it like on Wednesday and just say that I was delayed. I would work There's Tuesday and Wednesday, so. There was a cow on the line. Yeah, like I say, I'm at work Tuesday and Wednesday. So. Good. And then Friday, Saturday, and then I think I'm off for a week. And you know what that means? <laughs> Fuck you. Milk the cow! Fuck. Milk you. the cow until its tits run pink. And then I'm back at work for a week. Yay. And then I'm off for a week again, and you know what that means. No. We'll have done this game. And then I'm off again. I'll, and then I'm back at work for two weeks. But then he's and now I'm off again. Can you see where worse is going? No. You better help out, hope out the two people I'm speaking to at the moment. One of them has sex with me, because otherwise you're going to be stuck doing this for the rest of your life. 
But you'd say one of the two people that are talking to you were like, no, you don't mean us. No. I was like, fuck. <laughs> up the inside. Up the outside. In and up out, in and out. Oh, shake it all in What? Up the inside is a good allegory for sex. Well, I went... Oh, and he's going to dive around the outside of him. Look at that beautiful move of Maury Walker. He's won the race on that last lap, obviously. Oh, my. Weird, why? Two hours and one and a half minutes. Well, that was depressing. And now we're just going to wait for every other car to finish. Yep. Boris Johnson, Norton, Fuzuka Waka. Uh, a Sylvia beaten Evo 10, which is interesting. And a G35 was the second slowest car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about this one? We've got 150Ks and a quarter of a million experience points. And a cool car. Such a cool car. A based car. Yeah, that's at 184.36 miles. We'll check it. Mm -hmm. And we win the HSC. Cool enough. Veterans of the channel might remember this from Tuners and Tinder. Everyone's favourite Grunches Mode 4 episode. It hasn't got his ridiculously long name in this game. What? Per the 37th Motor Show from Tokyo or whatever? Yeah, the 37th Tokyo... Whatever it is. We'll find them for the next episode. 314 horsepower. It still looks cool. It was the Honda HSC... <clears throat> the 37th Tokyo Motor Show concept car. 03. It also apparently doesn't have a colour code. Oh. I have a model of this car somewhere. Anyways, also the GTR has magically gained horsepower figures since it's been in our garage and also weighs something now. But we still don't know what drive train it is. Or how well, long, wide and what its height is. 183.6 miles, so yeah, it's actually like 290 kilometers. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next, I'm going to be taking a look at the Roads to 4 Hour Endurance. So, join us for that. Until then, farewell.